Yo, welcome back to the Daily Bars Podcast. I am your host, Nate Duncan, and this is where we talk about our journey. I talk about my journey into learning about entrepreneurship uh, and where I started, and I'll be fully transparent with you guys. That's what I plan on doing, uh, being fully transparent with you, where my mindset was when I started where it is now, what I'm doing, the steps I'm taking, the things I, I, I basically, you know, told myself like, hey, it's over. I came to a realization that I did not want to be limited to one stream of income. That's basically what it was, because one stream of income is too close to none. So I'm not going to get on here and bash Working for someone, I'm not going to bash that because I've did it for 20 plus years, so I can't bash it. And it's not like I was, you know, I didn't have money or I didn't have, you know, the things, vital things in life. I didn't have to, I didn't want for much, but I was, I feel like I'm in a box. I'm in that one income mode where. If that income is taken away from me, which I've seen over the years be taken away by friends of mine. Hey, I knew it could, it could change a lot of things. Fortunately, that didn't happen for me, but I knew that, hey, I didn't want to be caught in that situation. So that's that's exactly why I started to look into different things and do my research. And I'm going to tell you guys where it all started. So we're going to talk about why I had to change my mindset. That's what we're going to talk about in this episode. Changing the mindset. Because once you start to go on some type of journey into entrepreneurship or to anything, you got to change your mindset. You have to change your mindset. You can't think the way you've been thinking over a long period of time. It's just not going to work. It's not going to work. Um, I've and hey, I can be trans, fully transparent with this. I felt like I was being devalued. I was feeling like that I wasn't being uh, put in the position that I was, you know, worth stuff that I was doing at my place of employment. I felt like I wasn't getting what I deserved. So feeling that way. Made me look into different things. I said, you know what? I have to look into different things. I have to explore my options. That's what I have to do. And if I, I'm so happy that I did that. So I appreciate my job doing that because it actually brought me back to what I knew for years that I had potential to be more than just an employee. I had a potential to be more than just an employee. And that's what it boils down to. I knew that from a long time ago. Tell you a story about, you know, my wife. Uh, While she was at school, I would send her a uh, I would send her letters and I would, you know, we'd talk about it. You know, I was still trying to, you know, court things of that nature. But uh, I would tell her that, you know, by the time I am 30 years old, I, I never forget it. By the time I'm 30 years old, I will not be working for someone. And that's what I told her. I had that mindset back then. Now, I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I had that in my head that, hey, I did not want to work for anyone by the age of 30. So that that was something that was near and dear to me back then but somehow some way you know life happens family you get married you start to say hey i got to keep this 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 security and this secure job and you know take care of that and then years go by and it's like hey you start to forget certain things that you set out for yourself and uh every few years it would come back to me Every so often it would come back to me and I had to, you know, I I got into uh, the music game at one point. Uh, 
with some of my partners, man. We got together and we, we had actually had a music label. We had artists. We would travel. We would do things, uh, find artists, you know, try to groom them. And then that, you know, for that, whatever reason, that didn't work out. Uh, that was a, a, a hard industry, but uh, I had fun doing it. But nevertheless, it didn't amount to what we wanted it to amount to. So then I got into real estate. I wanted to be a real estate agent with the goal of becoming a real estate investor. And what I did was, you know, went and got my license, uh, got with someone as far as a broker. Then I took on my first client. I said, all right, I got to learn how to do it for whatever reason. Uh, but I thought I had to do that to justify keeping a license. So did that. And I had like the client from hell and it scared me away from it. And instead of looking at that as a, a lesson and just keep going, I kind of looked at it like, man, I got to work this job because the thing is, the average real estate agent makes about 30,000 a year. At least that was the statistics then 30,000 a year. And I'm like, all right, I'm making some good money where I'm at. And then working with this particular client, I was on the phone. I'm talking breaks, lunches, trying to take care of things for this client who pretty much didn't have things in order. So I'm doing that. And I'm like, you know what? I can't do this. But instead of keeping up with that, I don't know what happened. Instead of keeping up with that, I somehow let it go. I should have just kept doing the, you know, continuing education, but whatever. Didn't do it. So then we got into rental property. I moved from a house and I basically, me and my wife, we said, hey, let's rent out our old house. Uh, Got the tenants from hell, basically. And another thing, instead of looking at it as a lesson and keep going, I said, ah, I'm not I'm not messing with that. Uh, basically had some squatters and. We basically if in order to get some money from them, we would have had to go to court, take them to court, which would have taken a lot of time away from the job. And then it would have had to take a lot of extra money. And so we're like, you know what, let's just cut our losses and forget it. And once again, instead of looking at it like a lesson, we looked at it like a, you know, almost like we were defeated. And I said, you know what? I got to focus on this job. So I got comfortable in this job. Uh, so I just, you know, put the pedal to the metal and just started focusing there, uh, doing good work, making changes. And all of a sudden, when it's time for me to get rewarded for these changes and for this this hard work that I've been issuing out I didn't get what I wanted so when I didn't get what I wanted I felt a certain type of way and that's with anything if you're dealing with something if you're you know putting forth effort towards something and you think you should get a reward you know you should get a reward you're going to feel some type of way so that's what happened at that job and at that point, I said, you know what? I have to find something. I have to find another stream of income. I am no longer relying on this income, this one piece of income or source of income. And I got to pretty much, I got to figure out a way. So I said, I'm going to just start diving into whatever information I can find, man. And that's that's what I want to talk about, man. Changing that mindset. You got to change that mindset, man. If you are working for someone right now and you're not happy you and you know in your heart of hearts that there's a better way there's another way by all means man you got to go for it you got to change your mindset man you got to do things differently than you've been doing up to that point because like i, I tell people all the time that your circumstance and your situation you got total control over it. Don't let any of these jobs, don't let any of these bosses and, and supervisors out here tell you that you can't control your situation because you can. Uh, I had to realize that. And once I realized that, man, I was like, you know what? 
nobody's going to stop me from from seeking out information. So I would, you know, sit back and watch podcasts like you're watching or listening to right now. And, you know, I just said, you know, I'm a deep dive, I'm a deep dive into any kind of information, man, any information I can I can get into, man. So I started looking at real estate because I was familiar with real estate. Started looking at real estate and wholesaling, just started looking into things, man. Um, and that's that was that was the first thing I started looking into, you know. So um, we're not going to get in, into any you know particulars here because, you know, I just want to stick with the mindset. We want to just stick with the mindset and, and, and whatever you do. Figure out like, hey, I want to do something different with my life. I want to do something for myself. I want to add an extra stream of income. Got to change your mindset. You got to change your mindset, man. And what I mean by that is you got to be willing to invest in yourself. You got to be willing to think differently than you thought. For the previous however many years that put you in that situation where now you feel like you're stuck. Because without changing that mindset, man, and without thinking differently, you're not going to you're just not going to be able to to fully make that transition. It's not going to happen. Changing your mindset may cause you to change your circle. Because if you got that circle around you, man, that's stuck just like you, like you're not going to break away from that. You're going to always fall back into it. You're always going to fall back into it. You're sitting up here trying to change your situation and you got people around you who haven't changed their mindset and they're not trying to change their situation. So how do you think your situation is going to change? They're complaining about their job, just like you're you know, upset with your job. They're complaining about their job. That's something you don't need to hear. And I'm going to go back to this. I'm not speaking against any jobs, any nine to fives. But if you feeling like you're stuck, do something to start to better that situation. When we get off work, let's not watch TV. <laughs> let's let's get away from the sports. That's a mindset change. You got to change your mindset. That's something that's near and dear to me. I'm big time in the sports. I'm a big basketball fan. I'm a big football fan, particularly fantasy football fan. I just recently gave up my last fantasy league because my mindset has shifted. My mindset has changed. That's what we got to do. We got to sacrifice. I I, I like a good movie. Uh, Believe me, I love a good movie. I'm a movie buff. Uh, I, I love basketball. But at some point, when you change that mindset, when you want to do something different, you got to do things differently. You got to do things differently. If you want something different, you got to do things differently. Bottom line. Mindset. Got to change that mindset. Uh, You can't spend money on things that you were spending money on before. If it's not making you money. Or if it's not anything that can bring you money eventually, don't spend money on it. Stop spending money on the the the, the wants. It's got to be the needs. If you need something, go buy it. If it's something that you just want, that it's not bringing you any type of return, any type of ROI, which is return on investment, don't do it. It's not worth it, especially when you're in the midst of changing your mindset. And the longer you go without sacrificing and and getting that mindset shift, the longer you're going to reach your goal, the longer it's going to take to reach that goal. Got to reach that goal, man. And and, and, and the, the main thing to start with is by changing your mindset. You have to change your mindset. You got to start thinking differently than the people around you. Uh, and then once you start changing your mindset and once you start you know, figuring out things and learning new things, you're going to you're going to want to share that with people. I am here to tell you, do not do it. Do not share that information with people. 
Not initially. Because they won't see it. They're going to discourage you. And there's a saying out here. Because you, once you start seeing this information, you're going to start dreaming big. You're going to start thinking big. And you cannot share a big dream with a small mind. Let me say that again. You cannot share a big dream with a small mind. It's not going to happen. You cannot do it. I, I advise against it. I've done it. I'm speaking from experience, telling people about certain things. And then and then I didn't even do it yet. So if you're going to start talking about things, at least do it. Now, you may have one person that, you know, that you can talk to. Maybe it's a best friend of yours and maybe, you, you know, just fill them out. Fill them out before you start dishing out specific information. Fill them out first because. You don't want that person discouraging you and getting you back on that mindset that they're on and not thinking bigger. You want to think big in order to change your mindset. You want to think big. And that mindset shift is going to be so important in your journey because. Like I said, everybody will not be along for the ride, nor should they. Everybody's, you know, not equipped to be on that ride with you. You you might have to be on that ride by yourself and sh- show people. That's what you got to do. You got to show people. You got to show and prove. Uh, they're not going to be receptive. A lot of people will not be receptive. I mean, that's a, that comes with a lot of things. I mean, that's a whole other episode because with health, it's the same way. When you want to become healthy and everybody else is not healthy and they're not on that page or that journey of, 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 you know, changing their mindset. Hey, it's not, it's not going to work because they're not, they're not going to think the way you do. You can't expect people to think the way you're thinking. I, I, and I fell victim to that. I was, you know, expecting people to, you know, look at the way I'm thinking and say, Hey, all right. Yeah. I'll change my mind too. No, nah, it's not going to happen. So what you got to do is keep it to yourself, keep it close to yourself and just grind, get on that journey, get on that journey. But the first step is changing that mindset, man. Mindset shift, mindset change. You got to do it before you start, you know, talking to other people about what you're trying to do. Uh, Changing that mindset is going to be so important for your journey, man. I'm telling you, get a drink of water here. That mindset change is going to be so important, man, because you're going to start thinking so differently. The things that you're going to find out with this mindset change is going to be things that you didn't think about in the previous year. Believe me, it's so many things. I can't even disclose all the stuff that I've been hearing about and the things that people are talking about in the circle that I'm in now because I've invested in myself. I've gotten into mentorships. I've gotten into coaching. I've gotten into to rooms that. I wouldn't even thought about getting into years ago because I it just wasn't on, on my radar. I was stuck in this box. I was stuck. I was around people that, you know, thought a certain way. Um, and I had to break away from that. I had to isolate myself and I had to study, look into different things. Where I could change my circumstance, make my circumstance better because we control everything. And what we don't want to do is have somebody else control in our mindset, control in our environment, control in the way we make money. It's nothing wrong with a job, but you cannot let one person control how you make money. So. By that, of course, I mean, adding another stream of income. There's so many things that we can get into, so many industries. I mean, you can Google different sources of income, different streams of income, and so many options are going to pop up. We're going to talk about some of those, not this episode, because all we're focused on right now. We can't. Hey, if you got to, like they say. If you hang around four broke people, 
then you damn sure are going to be that fifth broke person. So you got to change your surroundings. You got to change your circle and it's going to hurt because you used to the same thing for so long. You're used to the same people. People are not going to like it. You going to look brand new, but you got to think about yourself. You got to think about your family. You got to think about your situation. And if you're feeling stuck and you're not happy, you got to change it. So if you don't change your mindset, you're not going to change your situation. You're not going to change your circumstance. And that's that's basically letting me letting you in into in, my psyche, into what I'm thinking about or what I thought about when I first got into this, man. I mean, I went as far as telling my job that, hey, I'm just here for a paycheck. Bottom line. I'm here for a paycheck because I am no longer looking for you to validate me. I'm no longer looking for that. I'm there to make money. And while when I go home, my focus is on making more streams of income. That's my focus. So at some point in time, you're going to have to change your mindset and, and, and shift it to where you're hanging around with people now with that same mindset. Get in rooms, man, where people are, find that thing that you want to do once you do your research and get in the room with people that's doing that. Nine times out of 10, those people in that room aren't going to be on the same level as the people that you used to hang around with. They're not going to be on that same level. They're going to be on a whole different trajectory. They're going to be on a whole different different playing field. They're going to be talking about things that the conversations they're going to have, you're not, your old friends are not, they're not going to have those type of conversations. You know, your old friends or your, your, your coworkers that you, know, you used to hang around with, they're going to be complaining about something uh, while the people, the new people who are in the industry that you're trying to get into, that you find out about, that you get excited about, they're going to be talking about solutions. They're going to talk about how they, you know, how to how to come up with solutions for a problem that they have or how they came up with a solution for the problems that they had in their industry. And, and it's going to blow your mind, man. The conversations change when you get around the right people. And that's what it's about when you change your mindset, man. When you change your mindset, geez, you change your mindset, I'm telling you, so many things change. So many situations come to you. You start to be a magnet for, for, for new, new ideas, new people, new industries. And, and that's another thing. When you change that mindset, you got to also guard that because once you start changing that mindset and start looking into these different industries, you're going to start finding different things. Man, I could do that. Man, I can do that. You know, and if you got it, that's another thing. If you have a special gift or niche or something that you have a, a, a specialized like knowledge in, man, you can monetize it. I'm telling you, think about that. If you have whatever you do at your job, if it's something that you can take outside of there, think about if that's something you can take outside of there and monetize it. Teach somebody else how to do it. I'm telling you, a lot of people know how to write. You can write a book, man. Write an ebook on your life. Write a biography on your life. Uh, something you may know how to do well, man. Write a Write a, a, a little mini course on it. Man, it's, I'm getting too far into it now, but I, it's all about changing your mindset first. You got to change your mindset and the way you think. If you don't do that, all the other stuff is, is going to be, you know, it's not going to work because you didn't change that mindset. If you're still thinking the same way you thought before, Nothing's going to nothing's going to change. You're not going to start to see that 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 potential. And, and the fact that you're even listening to this and the fact that you're even looking into like changing your mindset or feeling that you're stuck means that you feel like you have more. Like you have more in you. You got potential to do more things, man, to be more, to make more money, to become a high earner like hey. Once you realize that, man, you're going to leave all the people that you talked to before. You're going to leave them alone. You're going to leave them alone. 
or they're going to leave you alone because they're going to be like, man, I can't, I can't talk to him because, or her, because I can't, I can't relate to what they're talking about. You're going to realize that you cannot relate to what these people are talking about. While they're complaining, you're trying to figure out a way how to make an extra stream of income. You're not going to, you're not going to be caught up into the same conversations. Your conversation is going to change. You're going to want to talk about the things that you have learned. And when you got people who aren't learning around you, you got people who aren't trying to better themselves around you, you're, they're, it's not going to, they're not going to be able to relate. They're not going to be able to hang around you. You're not going to want to hang around them. They're not going to want to hang around you because your mindset has changed. And that's what you, that's what you got to be looking for. When you want to change your situation, you got to look for things that blow your mind. Like, man, there's so many things out here that I didn't know about that I wish I knew about 20 years ago. You know, um, like I said, I always thought about doing the entrepreneur thing, but man, if I knew about these things that I know now, man, I'd be, I would have been dangerous, but things happen for a reason. Everything that happened up to this point had to happen for me to get to this point right now and to get the mindset that I have now that I want you to have. Start reading different books, man. There's so many things that, oh my God, that you can get into. I mean, think and grow rich. I mean, it's, it's so many principles and there's so many principles out here that you can learn. Just, you can speak what you want into existence, man. That's, that is a thing. You want to be successful. You can speak that into existence. Things that you want, you can write that stuff down, post them up on your, on your, your, your cabinet, post them up on your computer, post them up on your mirror in the bathroom, post them up on the refrigerator, put them in your phone. So you're looking at it all the time. When you open it, you ain't going to the, to the wrong thing. You're going to that, 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 that source that you're researching, that you're trying to make yourself better. You're not going on YouTube, looking at things that aren't going to make you money or make your life better. That's how you change your mindset. Once you change your mindset, it opens up so many doors, man. It opens you up to so many things because now you're going to be like, you know what? I got to get more. I know I have more in me, so now I got to get more. I got to invest in myself. I got to invest in courses. I got to invest in, 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 in mentors. I got to invest in, in, in me. I got to invest in assets that are going to bring a back a return, not liabilities. When you start to change your mindset, you start to you start to realize that, you know, the things that you bought in the past were useless. And then you start to think, man, I can start buying things now that's going to catapult me into the future, catapult me into to making more money than I'm making now. Man, there's so many things. I implore everybody on here, man, to get on Instagram and start looking up entrepreneurship. Start looking up different different things, man. Real estate. Just start looking up credit. That's another thing. Get your credit together. That's good. when you should start changing your mind, man. You're going to start thinking about things differently. Get your credit together. Get, Man, get your life together. But that's a whole another episode, y'all. Look, Daily Bars Podcast. I'm so pumped. I'm so happy to get a lot of this stuff off my chest. And that, hey, that we had the trailer. Now we got episode one in the books. I'm so excited to start talking to people and getting that message out there, man. Sharing my story, bringing people in here and you know, letting them tell you their story. Uh, I'm just looking forward to it, man. I want to keep everybody encouraged. Keep everybody thinking about that mindset, thinking about that shift. You can do it, man. Change your mindset. What we talk about the next time will probably be something similar. We'll talk about our whys. We'll talk about, you know, 
things like living below your means. We'll talk about, you know, why people are so comfortable. We'll talk about boss moves versus employee moves. Hey, we're going to talk about some stuff. Daily Bars Podcast. I'm Nate Duncan, and I'm signing out. Let's go.